Yes, if you are mechanically illiterate, uh, there's a new Canadian gadget called Mojio that aims to give you a little more understanding about how your car actually operates. Have a look at this. Mojio is a cellular device that lets you log into your car from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. You can locate, monitor, control, even diagnose your car. Really, anything's possible on the Mojo platform. All right, but exactly, Lexi Savides, what does that mean? So it's a device that plugs into your car's OBD, um, onboard diagnostics port. So every car since 1996, I think, has one of these ports. You might not know about it, but your mechanic certainly does. And now this gives a whole bunch of codes and data from engine, fuel status, everything to do with your car that you probably don't know. You know, those dashboard lights that come up when something's wrong with your engine. That never you, make any exactly. sense to me whatsoever. You don't know, you don't know what engine. that is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what that is, but the... Um, the onboard diagnostics does. Now this device slots into that, it's usually under the steering wheel or somewhere similar, and it feeds back data. Now it can either record it, and in the case of the Mojio, it sends it via 3G or cellular connection to your phone, or there's other options that work on Bluetooth, and it just sends that data to an app or something that can actually give you real world information. So it's not just a series of codes, it's actually, you've got, you know, half a tank of fuel left. This is when you're going to need to fill up. This is how many more Ks you can do on that tank. How much of that information is usable, is actionable for somebody who just owns and runs a car though, Peter? Well, I think it's a bit like uh, fitness devices except for a machine. <laughs> so it's telling you the health of the car. It's telling you things like the fuel consumption has changed or got worse, which might indicate that perhaps the oil needs changing. It can also calculate how fast you were driving, were you over revving the car. So the idea is that you're gaining a lot of insight into the car. Perhaps if you're a parent and you lend your car to your child, then you can look back and say, well, how fast did they really drive my car? Have yeah. they done damage to it? There's been some interesting other stuff in terms of its monitoring capability. Uh, if your car happens to move when you're not present, uh, you can get an instant notification, basically mm, it's been letting stolen. you know if your car's been stolen. <laughs> yeah. uh, also provide estimated arrival times, they say, traffic-based But that's things that the phone does anyway. I and don't know what that, it's got to do with the onboard diagnostics. That is exactly my thing here. It feels like there's a lot of things that it's kind of selling as features that they're bundled together, but a lot of it's stuff you can kind of already do. That's the thing. And if you know anything about onboard diagnostics, you can buy a little plug. It's, you know, $15, $30, $60 depending on the sort of model you want, plug that in and download a free app, Android or iOS, get that information for free. All you have to do is just invest in that one one little dongle that sits in that port. Now, this solution is quite expensive for what's on offer. Plus, you have that ongoing cost of a yearly subscription um, to get all that information and all the access to that data. Now, the big point about Mojo, I guess, is to make it an open platform to let other developers work on apps mm. to harness this information. But I really don't see the need. If you as the end consumer, you as the driver has access to that, you can make informed decisions about, you know, as Peter was saying about your kids driving your car when you need to fill up, knowing exactly what's mechanically wrong with your car so you don't get charged extra. If you have that information, it's in an easy to present format and it's cheaper than this solution, then why do we need this? And also cars themselves are coming with bigger screens that give you more contextual information than the old, like, there's a light on my dashboard and I don't know what that means. We're getting a lot more than that already, Peter. Yeah, and I think... Look, Look, if we look at uh, luxury cars today, we can see what's going to come in the future. You know, things like ABS brakes and, uh, you know, the technology's power steering, even with things that appeared in luxury cars first. Now, luxury cars for the last decade have had their own SIM and they've had a data connection back to the factory, uh, both for diagnostics. And I mean, some of these systems, for example, will detect that the airbags have deployed and can, if you set it up, ring people, including ring emergency services for you, which is a great feature. Eventually, though, that's just going to be built into the car. All right, what is the car-based technology you most want right now? Let us know in the comment sections down below. And while you're doing that, make sure you subscribe because if you don't subscribe, Roy Huberman, our video producer, will beat me. This is my cry for help. Uh, the subscribe button will be somewhere on the screen. I never know where it is. Uh, very big thank you to our panel this week, Peter Marks and Lexi Savitti. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. And thank you for watching another chunk of Download This Show. <laughs>